Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tutorial for you on one of our infamous mat exercises. We are in the middle of March Madness 2020. And if you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel, I thank you so much for coming back. I love spending this time with you and I couldn't do it without you. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. If you see some content that you like, I hope you'll stick around and become a subscriber and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. So meanwhile, today's topic, um, I've had some requests from some very dear Pilates nerds, Alessandra and Corey. This is your tutorial on the crab. Um, I'm just gonna do the crab first, just so we all know what we're talking about, and then I'm gonna talk about how to work on it based on the order of the exercises in, in which it, where it's placed in the mat exercises, um, how to work on the action of the crab, and also how to kind of negotiate sort of rolling up and over yourself. So first, let's see what we're talking about. So I like to start my crab kind of, it comes right after the seal, and so you can switch the shape of your lower body into the crab, either when you're upside down in, in the seal, or you would be clapping, or when you come to the front after you finish the seal. And I sort of like the, the flow, the way it flows into the next exercise. So I usually change like in the middle of the seal when I'm upside down. But I'll show you both options. But first, yes, talking a little too much. <laughs> Haven't been out to see people. Um, so I thank you for letting me chit chat to you here. So if you're starting from just, I'm only gonna do the crab, you've got your legs crossed and you're gonna hold on to your feet like you would be shaking hands, which we're not supposed to do. So, but you're holding onto your feet almost like you could kind of pull the feet out to the side a little bit. And you're gonna see by holding in that manner, it's gonna help facilitate the action of the legs that we're gonna do in the midst of the exercise. And when you're upside down, just that little bit of pulling out to the side is going to help you when you let go of your feet. They'll kind of like already be kind of going out and then you can re-grab. So let me just do that in real time. So I'm pulling out to the side. I'm pulling out to the side and that will help your legs go to start doing that action of the crab uh, rather than just sort of switching the feet. So I'm going to do a few just in real time. Woo! And I really like this exercise, so it's kind of hard to stop. So that was a starting in the front, but then let's say you want to start like me and you want to do it in the middle of the seal. So I'm going to do a couple seal, and you know your seal, your balance, clap, clap, clap. Balance, clap, clap, clap. So use the claps to be a test of your balance. And now when you're back there balancing, you're gonna change the crab. And you're balanced. And you can see that in the moment I start to do that action of the crab, it, my, this wants to go away and it wants to roll me back down to the mat. So that is your challenge. So let's talk about ways to work on this. This is a challenging rolling exercise because you're literally kind of rolled all up and tied up within yourself, even more so than our seal. So if you look at the order and the order in which the rolling exercises are dipped into the mat, so we have rolling like a ball where you're just upside down and, and sort of sustained there for just a moment and you're kind of compact. Then we have open leg rocker, where still you're just there for a moment, but you now have longer levers to move around. Then we get to our boomerang. I'm not skipping any. Okay, so then we get to our boomerang, where you again have long levers, and now back here, you have to open close. Again, you're there just for a little while. Then for the seal, you're balanced, you have to stay still as you do something a little bit more quick, but still a little bit, um, not a huge movement. Then for the crab, you're even more compact and you do this big action of the crab. 
as you're upside down. And that's the most challenging I find. And we're, we're putting those into the mat amidst things where you stay upside down to do things like jackknife and then control balance where you're up there balanced with, with your lower body all the way up to the ceiling. So we're kind of building in that control of upside down. And even within just the three rolling exercises, you have a little bit of increased difficulty. So use your other rolling exercises to kind of plan for that moment that you're back there with the crab, because that will help you as well. So now let's talk about the other thing is, okay, I'm upside down, I'm balanced, I can do this action, what am I doing? So usually what happens upside down in the crab is that people get upside down and they just sort of switch the feet. Because it's a little bit easier. You don't have that going away from center challenge and you just are kind of changing the feet. So that's really not the action of the crab that you're looking at. So let's talk about other places in the system where you have that same kind of um, iteration of your lower body. So if you have an armchair and you sit on your armchair, the position of the feet are pressing into each other like this. So that's a little bit the action of gathering that you need for the crab. And then uh, also on the reformer, when you do the rowing series, for shave and hug, you are in this position. And usually you transition from your shave to your hug by changing your legs. And actually, <laughs> by doing it at the same time. So that's really the action, pardon me, it's a little too much of a crotch shot. This is the action of the crab. And you can take it right from that pressing the feet together of the armchair. There's also a magic circle exercise where you squeeze the circle like that. There's also, that's the same feeling as you get in your side splits on the reformer where you're pulling yourself together even though the legs are apart. And there's one other place I think where we find this action, but it's a nice way to practice to just kind of finding that planning for what you're going to do up in the air. And basically you want to have your leg keep the same amount of bent and you want to really make the knee go out to the side so it opens the hips and then you're going to cross them the other way. And ideally as you do your crab, each time you're switching. But I know I did this exercise for years, and when I was upside down, I could never remember which way was going on top. <laughs> so if that happens to you, just keep going on, and eventually you'll be able to, to know when you switch. You know, sometimes the exercises are physically challenging and also mentally challenging. So use your order of the rolling exercises. Use that, that uh, scenario where you find yourself sitting cross-legged in, in all the other places that we do that in the studio. And also, um, the other question, it actually came up in one of my free map classes from last week on Instagram. Sorry, they weren't on Instagram. <laughs> uh, they were on Zoom. And I'm actually going to have some free map classes this week as well. So if you're in those classes, I look forward to seeing you soon. And um, so the question was, how do you kind of negotiate uh, this part where you're kind of going over your knees to your head? and the part where you're going back over your ankles. How do you make that happen? And to me, it feels very much like uh, any place that you do the horseback exercise where you're grabbing either the barrel or the box with your seat and your backs of your legs and your lower body so that as you lift yourself up like the horseback or the, uh, your powerhouse is lifting you so you're really light as you go over your knees and you're keeping that kind of gathering horseback sort of feeling as you go over your ankles. So it really shouldn't, if there's nothing, you know, if you have healthy knees, healthy ankles, or anything like that, it really should not feel like it's doing anything funky to your joints. Um, you want to really kind of feel like that's part of your ball, right? It's not rolling on the mat yet, but it is preparing and staying round as you go over your legs. So I hope you found that helpful. If you would like to see more in-depth tutorials like this, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and you can tell me any mat exercise that you'd like to see in a tutorial. This is the month to do it in. Thank you so much for watching, 
And um, yeah, I just really like spending time with you and I'm so grateful that you like spending time with me watching these videos. Have a great, great workout and I'll see you later. Bye.